Hello and welcome to Steph Into Christmas, my 12 indie brands of Christmas and today we're combining two brands, two absolutely amazing UK indie brands. There is Pout and Shout who if you are not new you will know that I absolutely adore in particular the blushes, they are my absolute favourite formula ever um, and then there is the pastel roses who just create the most unique beautiful shades ever um, yes I'm gonna stop rambling now and if you would like to see how I created this look and hear a little bit more about both brands then just keep on watching okay guys so we are starting with pout and shout and the looking like a snack palette and I am going into Shake Your Grass. I love that. Um, I'm taking that on a Spectrum B07. Pout and Shout is a brand that I have been supporting for quite a while now, quite a long time. I have quite a few of the blushes in particular and highlighters um, I do have a couple more single shades um, but they're not going to be used in today's look face products will it'll all make sense <laughs> um, but Pout and Shout is run by just the sweetest loveliest person ever um, Maria she is an absolute diamond Everything is vegan and cruelty free. All the packaging is upcycled, recycled packaging. And she is just such a sweet person. She fosters cats. There's literally nothing negative to say about her or her brand. Um, she still is a very tiny brand in the sense of she is still only on Instagram. Uh, she hand makes all of the products are all professionally made and they're all amazing and I may have more coming um, I absolutely adore her products the blushes in particular if you are not new to my channel then you will have heard me talk about these blushes and rave about them it is my absolute favorite blush formula ever and um, yeah so you if you're not new you will have heard me mention pout and shout yeah a lot of times um it will come as absolutely no surprise to many of you but yeah and she puts a guideline price um so it's kind of a between such and such and whatever it's like to pay within your means um which is just adorable and so lovely as you can see just with this eyeshadow first her products are of amazing quality i don't need to really big them up because they kind of do it for themselves i love this shade I decided to block um, the Pastel Roses and Pouts and Shout together. For one, because I have fewer products to create a whole look with. Um, but also they're both UK indie brands that I adore. And I couldn't leave either one out. So they became one video. Right. <laughs> and... Back into the Looking Like a Snack palette, I'm going into Silly String, shade here. I'm going to take that on a Peaches and Cream PC22 brush. Go into the right shade, Steph. This one is super, super pigmented, so I'm really kind of tapping in lightly and tapping off. Um, I'm not too worried about any mess because I haven't done my base yet, so... It can all be cleaned up. These shadows, and yes, I am using more kind of shimmery satiny shades um, instead of mattes, just 
because I want to. I want these shades. I want to show off how beautiful they are. And I think they're going to make for a beautiful Christmas look. It's going to be more of a, well, or is it? I haven't, I haven't actually decided yet. I kind of decided that I definitely wanted these two shades. Um, the Plastel Roses shades I keep going between. I can't seem to make up my mind. So, we'll see. Just look at this shade. I do love me some green. Yeah, as soon as I saw that Maria made this palette, it, it had to be mine. For those of you who don't know, I keep snakes. I love them. And anything snake related kind of has me a uh, snake. <laughs> I can't help it. I have introduced a couple of my snakes on my channel at times. I do need to do more introducing them. Um, I, I just want to try and do it so that everybody's happy because I know that there are a lot of my subscribers who really don't like snakes um, and really fear them. So as much as I would love to change everyone's mind on snakes, I, I'm aware that the fear is very real. Um, in my eyes, it's been completely over dramatized by the media etc um, films portraying them in a bad way anyways this video is not about snakes um i love them i go off on one apologies all right so i'm just gonna drag it out a little bit i will clean it up properly when i go off to do my base but look at that Isn't that just so beautiful? Right, let me go back in with the original brush quickly. I uh, just want to make sure the edges are super soft. Beautiful. Right, so just putting the palette aside now, I'm just gonna grab some Pastel Roses shades, so stay there. right okay i have all of these to choose from <laughs> oh my word what is it that i want to do okay so i've popped that aside um i'm just going to pop on some nyx glitter primer and then we will continue with the shimmers so stay where you are okay so from the pastel roses I have decided first to take Florida, which is this one here. And I'm taking that on one of the brushes from Artitude Cosmetics. Um, the brushes are amazing. And I'm going to take this right on this very outer edge here. Yeah. I like this already. I've been really looking forward actually to filming um, this particular video. I think just because I like the fact that I'm getting to like promote two amazing UK indie brands in one video. Look, just look at that. Their shimmers are just, they have so many really special shades. Apologies if you can hear Poppy snoring. She's uh, gotten a lot worse in her old age. I'm just quickly going to go in with the brush that I had a deeper shade on. Just wiggle them together a little bit. I will more than likely go in with a little bit more just to, just to assist that. But for now... Now that will do. OK, 
Okay, so not necessarily traditionally a Christmas colour, but <laughs> I'm going to go in with Skyfall, which is this one here. Looks completely different colour on camera. Um, this is one of the beautiful special shades. I love this. And that is going to go over the rest of the lid. Look at that. That is so pretty. This one is a little bit harder to pick up on a flat brush. Um, I should have used a more fluffy one, but never mind. We'll get there. I'm just going to swap. So I'm just going in with this more fluffy one from Morphe and Madison Beer. Um, just because I know that this shade picks up a lot better on, on a fluffier brush. That is so pretty. I do really love these. So it's got green, purple, blue. I hope that's showing up on camera. And um, Pastel Roses are a brand that I really got into more this year and started developing a collection of the shadows and they are so beautiful um my very wonderful good friend and soul sister over here on youtube anki um she does a lot with the pastel roses shades and she has a lot of them so i will link her channel in the description box below for if you want to see more of uh, pastel roses shadows in action but I just think they are amazing. They're of just amazing quality and so special. Most of the shades I've got from Pastel Roses I got because they were just completely unique to my collection. Isn't that just one of the most beautiful shades ever? It is just stunning. I am going to go back into looking like a snack and back into silly string just to deepen up that outer area a bit more if I need to I might should I jump into some snack let's just see how this does first oh no I think this is all right on its own look at that these shades are just so beautiful. I'm just going to dab just a little bit into Shake Your Grass. Just on the original brush and just go over the top of the look. Make sure it's all blended nicely. Okay guys, so I'm going to clean this up and do my base and then I will come back and we'll continue with face products and the rest of the eyes so just stay where you are okay guys i've done my base makeup we're gonna now go under the eyes so i'm going into the looking like a snack palette from pout and shell and i'm going into silly string and i'm going to take that on a zoeva 230 lux pencil and i just want that right up against the lash line at the outer edge there just picking up the tiniest amount at a time look at that how beautiful is that both brands just produce some of the most beautiful products that is so pretty I will link both um, Pout and Shout's Instagram because that's where um, you would need to go if you wanted to see any of her products available. Um, she can also, if there's something in particular you want and it's something she can do, um, then pop, pop her a message because if she can do it, she will. Um, 
I've just only ever had amazing experiences with both brands. So that is looking beautiful. Right, what do I want to pop? What do I want to pop down there? Do I want to keep it green? Oh, I think I'm actually just on that same brush I'm going to use palm from the pastel roses I'm just going to take a bit of that and pop that just kind of underneath and against the outer shade just because it's got kind of a, a red shift in it which I think will work beautifully yeah look at that beautiful tap that off it's got a real beautiful kind of red purpley kind of shift I'm terrible at explaining colours uh, Anki does a far better job than me of uh, describing the pastel roses shadows unfortunately they don't kind of say what the shifts are on the, the website but oh, just look at that so for the inner part of under my eye I'm going in with lime twist from the pastel roses and I'm just gonna kind of almost press it I want it. Look at that. Yes, that was the right choice. That is beautiful. This is, I think, one of my favourite shades from the Pastel Roses. It is stunning. Look at that. Alright, I'm going to go in for the inner corner. And I'm going to go in with, what are you called? I'm going to go in with Sunlight, also from the Pastel Roses. And I'm just going to do the same pressing. This has got a shift between, what kind of shift do I call it? Like pink and green? It's beautiful. Look how beautiful these shades are. I think being this kind of shiny and sparkly, it just makes me feel all the more Christmassy. beautiful I might actually with a tiny brush where is 18 I am going to actually take a bit of that on just a little tiny morphe pencil brush and I think yeah I'm just going to use that to uh oh I am loving how this is looking. Right, let's move on to face products, shall we? Hmm. Right, blush. I have a few to choose from. I have two, four, six, eight. I have nine of the blushes. I'm trying to work out what. I think actually. Do I want you or you? Right. Okay. So. For the outer part of my blush, I'm going in with Contrary Mary from Pout and Shout. And this is the shade. Look, just look at the packaging. She does it all by hand. It is stunning. All right, blush a brush. 
So I'm just going to take that on the outer part here of my cheek. This colour is one of my favourites, one of my favourite blushes. Um, I think my absolute favourite blush from Pout and Shout is Sensitive Sally. Um, this one here, as you can see, I've hit pan. Um, I love it. Um, I love them all. But I think that's like a shade thing. Oh, nice. Yeah, these are pretty pigmented blushes. And they're just, the formula is just amazing. I cannot rave about these enough. They are so beautiful. And like I've already said, they are my absolute favourite formula of blushes. Just look at that. Look how beautiful that looks. Ooh. Right, and now I'm going to dip in a little bit to Rise and Shine. And this one has a flower. It's so pretty. And then just using the same blush brush, I'm just going to bring that just onto the front part here. How beautiful that is and just bring the both over my nose a bit oh that is beautiful oh right highlighter Ooh. I think yeah I know so the highlighter I'm going in with is one of the Happy Glow Lucky highlighters and it is Sunny Days. Look at that packaging. How beautiful is that? And it's a real yellow highlighter. I love it. I don't need to keep saying I love it. If I didn't love all these things, they wouldn't be in my 12 indie brands of Christmas, um, which are all the kind of my favourites. Look at that. Isn't that? stunning I am of course going to build it up more that is a really good thing you can go in with a light hand and get a more kind of natural glow I I don't do that it's not me if I wanted to look natural I just wouldn't put any makeup on that's just me my my daughter she does neutral makeup. Um, she looks stunning. I have absolutely nothing against neutral makeup. It's just not really for me. For me, makeup is fun. It is experimenting with colours. It is feeling feeling like a peacock or a butterfly rather than just a, just me. Oh, look how beautifully that builds up. Again, the same as the um, blushes, the formula is just beautiful. But then you can probably see that for yourself, how beautiful these products look. Oh, just look, just look at that. Please tell me that's showing on camera because I'm living for it. I am glowing to the gods. I blame Steph Toms for how much I like doing this. 100% her fault. But I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Right. And then just a quick once over with the blush brush just to make sure everything is blended. 
Right, before I go off to finish my face, I do have this lipstick from Pouch and Chat. It's Black Forest Cato. <laughs> and this is the shade. I do have a little lip brush here somewhere. I'm hoping that this will go, just purely because it's the only lipstick I have from either one of the brands. So, fingers crossed. Yeah, it's going to go. I think that goes perfectly right I'm gonna nip off and just finish off finishing touches lashes etc and then I will come back to show you the finished look so yeah if you would like to see that then don't go anywhere okay guys so this is the finished look I am super super happy with it I am loving it really feeling myself today um let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and um, also have you tried any of the products from either the pastel roses or pout and shout i highly recommend both as i've said over and over throughout this video they wouldn't be in my 12 indie brands of christmas if they weren't amazing so i'll just quickly let you know what else i popped on my face it was literally just mascara and eyeliner. Um, the mascara I do have to give a shout out to is this double-ended one from She Glam. It's volume and length. And as you can see, it has given me lashes without having to put falsies on. And I'm living for this right now. And in my waterline is another She Glam product, which I am just in love with and it is one of their chromosome gel eyeliners and um, this one is in the shade zenith and it is a proper multi-chrome you can really see it in the waterline it lasts all day no issues love it but we're not here to shout about she glam we are here to celebrate and just love pout and shout and the pastel roses i keep saying pastel roses it's the pastel roses both brands are just a star a star so guys i'm gonna leave it here you will find the links for both pout and shell and the pastel roses in the description box below for if you want to go check them out so yeah, if you have liked this video, please do give it a like, thumbs up, that really helps me out. If you are new here and you love colourful makeup, you love experimenting with colours, supporting indie brands, using cruelty free makeup, if all of that sounds up your alley, like you would enjoy it, then please hit the subscribe button, it would be wonderful to have you as part of my online family. So yeah, thank you so much for spending this time with me. I appreciate you more than you will ever know. So yeah, I hope you're all having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.